Hey, Jared here, and it is my three-year anniversary of being on YouTube. Three-year anniversary of this YouTube channel, Sound Guitar Lessons, exactly three years ago this week. On a Tuesday, I uploaded my very first guitar lesson video, and things have come a long way since then, uh, but really this whole entire time I've only focused on one thing and one thing only, and that's what I want to talk about in this video. I'm hoping that I can give you uh, some encouragement for if you have a project or some goals or your dreams, whether that's music or otherwise, if I can give you some encouragement and maybe motivation and maybe inspiration and just tell you how I'm thinking about approaching uh, my own project. I think there's one big thing that matters more than anything else if we decide on, hey, I want to start this scary thing, or I want to do, I want to end up being good at this, right? If we're playing, practicing guitar, or I want to start releasing songs, or I want to start uh, performing, or I want to um, make an impact in this way. I think there's one thing that matters more than anything else, at least that's how I approach things. And this isn't going to feel like new information to you, but if you're in a rut or if you're feeling scattered or unfocused, or if you're not getting the results that you want from what the things that you're working on, again, guitar or otherwise, I'm hoping this could make, maybe help you out a little bit. So this one thing that I'm talking about that I like to focus on more than anything else and that I've done for this YouTube channel and that I've done with my practicing and that I've done with things like trying to get out there and perform more or compose music is focusing on consistency above everything else. Consistency even above quality. And I'm a sucker for production quality or um, you know trying to perfect things. And in fact, so much so that it is my biggest weakness. It's a strength and a huge weakness, right? It's the perfectionism or it's the wanting to get all my ducks in a row or it's wanting to uh, just get it right. So by focusing on consistency for me, um, I'm able to do the very best I can and even get sucked into trying to polish something or whatever um, within the constraints of what's the consistent uh, way that I'm going to show up and do this again and again and again and again. So three years ago, I posted my first video on this channel and I told myself, whatever happens, I'm going to post a video every week. And, by do and sure enough, I might obsess about the quality of it or trying to improve things or, you know, doing the best job I can within the constraints of never missing a week. And so every single week I have posted a video and that is the part of this project that brings me the most satisfaction, fulfillment, and joy. Just that I get to keep doing it. Just that I want to keep doing it. Just that I get to keep practicing and showing up for it. The exact same thing is true for my music or my practicing. And I remember when I was in the deepest zone of trying to work on my musicianship in my mid twenties or so. And you know, when life gets crazy and anything like that, I had one thing and that was that, okay, no matter what happens today, I just got to make sure I at least show up for my practice time that I've committed to and just do that consistently. Even if everything else falls apart, I'm going to do my best to just show up for that rock solid consistent and let it add up over time. And if you zoom in closer on that idea, you can say, well, within my practice time, maybe there's one particular skill, whether it's composing or improvising or my technique or my ear training or whatever, that I feel like, oh, this is connected to what I feel like I need or want more than anything else in music or in my guitar playing, or this is the thing that gives me the most like the goosebumps from music. And I want to chase that. I want to sound like this, right? Getting clarity on that is the hardest part. But once we have clarity on that, we can say, okay, if all these other things that I like to practice, I can try my best on, but this one thing, I'm never going to miss it. So what I'm doing right now in real time is executing this idea, which is kind of fun. I'm totally, I have nothing prepared for this. I have the idea and a bit of, you know, a couple things that I know I want to say, which is radically different than a lot of the videos that I do, which are very structured, very prepped, uh, either scripted out or um, outlined really thoroughly. Or, I mean, the last video I did, I'll put a link in the description to it, which was the 23 scales you can play over dominant seventh chords. Really fun project. It took me like 12 hours to edit it. And so sometimes, and I'm happy to put in that kind of work when I have the time to, when I have the energy to, when I have the creative inspiration to pour myself into it, but I cannot do that for every video. And so for me, the absolute secret is to make sure that at whatever quality I do the best I can, but that I show up and in this case, in my YouTube channel case, but it, I, I just think it applies to absolutely everything is I'm going to show up and keep the barrier to entry open. 
I'm going to keep that water tension. I think of it as like a surface tension, kind of like keep that broken. Starting something is always the hardest thing. It's always the hardest thing. Keeping it going is way easier. So again, it is my weakness to want to overdo something and to do it to kind of spend way too much time on it or, or just go full out on it, putting every idea I can into it. Like check out my diminished chords video. It's like a comprehensive, uh, video on diminished chords with tons of examples and everything I could think of to include in it. And I love doing that kind of thing. Uh, but if, and, and I've experienced this in the past, if I try to do everything I do that way or every video that way, or every piece of music that way, or every practice session that way, or every skill I want to learn on the guitar that way, I freeze up, right? Then nothing happens. It's, it's way too scary. It's way too just overwhelming, right? So this is what keeps me going just knowing that it's this game that as long as i keep showing up and doing the best i can within the constraints of showing up at a certain interval that i'm going to be happy working on that process and by being happy working on that process something's going to come of it right it's going to keep going and or i'm going to improve at it and or there's going to get some kind of result that might be desirable from it or what have you james clear the author of the huge hit book atomic habits says focus on the system not the goal that's exactly what i try to embrace focusing on how do i want to spend my time what would i be happy doing for 10 years what do i what do i want to still be doing 10 years from now over and over and over i don't want to focus on some sort of outcome or result or goal or end point that isn't related to something that I want to be doing leading all the way up to that and that I want to continue to do once I have that. So take a guitar skill, for example. Do I care about, um, you know, some particular technique? I don't know, something flashy, percussive guitar or something like that. Something appealing that, um, you know, might seem tantalizing in a moment when you see someone else, someone else do it and we say, oh, I wish I could do that. Oh, but do we want to work on do we love the idea of spending day in, day out, spending time with that privately, which is the one thing that leads to that result. And if not, we shouldn't worry about getting that result. Having unlocked what works for me, and I can only say what works for me, everybody's different, right? But this is what works for me. And it's just, you know, if it helps you to, to keep it in mind, um, that's why I wanna share it with you. But, the, but what I like to think of is instead of saying, I want blank, you know, outcome or result, right? I want to be a good guitar player. Instead, I would think, how can I frame that into, I want to be someone that does the thing that would lead to that. Very simple, very, very different. But instead of, I want to be a good guitar player, well, what does a good guitar player do? They probably play every day or they play regularly or they, you know, something, what do they do? Well, I want to be the person that does that, right? So instead of, I want to be a good guitar player, I want to be a guitarist who practices every day. Like that, we have full control over that. We don't have control over whatever the, in the world being a good guitar player means that's going to cause uh, a, a lot of issues, right? Because we're going to compare ourselves to other people or say, oh, but is that good? But is that good? But am I good? But if I'm someone who practices every day, then I can just sit with that. I can just be with that. I can be focused on my own lane. And what ends up happening is that it leads to that result. But it just happens because we focus on Oh, I want to be someone that shows up and practices every day. So for my YouTube channel, for example, do I want to be someone that has a successful YouTube channel? What does that even mean? Or do I want to be someone that puts up a video every week, no matter what? Well, if I focus on just, oh, I want to be someone that never misses putting up a video every week. Well, then it's going to lead to some sort of growth, right? And, and if it resonates with someone, it, it will resonate with the right people. And there's plenty of people that it does not resonate with. This is one of the things that I think has been really um, awesome about having a YouTube channel is just kind of getting a little more resilient uh, about how many people are not going to like something we do, um, no matter what you do. And that's the same with styles of music or styles of guitar playing. You know, one person's going to think that um, Mozart is the most boring music in the world and someone else is going to say, oh, but they're the only true musician that ever lived and, and it's the only good music that exists. So back to this identity thing, you know, do you want to be someone who is a successful songwriter, or do you want to be someone that finishes songs on some sort of regular basis? Do you want to be someone that is a great improviser, or do you want to be someone that works on improvising every day or performs improvising at you know some regular interval? And I think just some regular interval is 
that secret, right? It doesn't have to be every day. It doesn't have to be every week. It doesn't have, it just has to be something that rain or shine we can stick to. And again, this is just what works for my personality. I know a lot of people and I've, I've taught a lot of lessons for a lot of years. And I know a lot of people that just are much better at kind of going with the flow in the moment and just pr practicing very consistently, but not having some, you know, something rigidly in mind, like the way that I'm talking about it here. So if you're feeling scattered, if you're feeling unfocused, if you're feeling like the, you know, you're not making progress that you want to, that you want, I, I would recommend trying, trying this where you take one thing. And if we're talking guitar here, just one thing within your guitar playing, right? One thing that's going to lead to maybe the biggest impact or lead stepping stone towards something that really matters the most to you, whether that's releasing your own music or just sounding at a certain quality that you kind of imagine in your mind or or playing a certain piece of music that's really hard for you or whatever and just say that one thing I'm going to be rock solid consistent with in this way and try to do as many other things as you want to but have that one thing be your commitment and if it's the right thing and if the process of working towards that uh feels right because sometimes it doesn't and we have to bail on it that's fine but if we can keep in mind that this isn't just something that we're working on for a couple of weeks, for a month, for a year, I'm, I'm thinking 10 years out, right? Like what's something I'd be happy to be doing that long from now still, and just how I want to spend my time. Then I feel, I feel like that's the idea of success for me. How do I want to spend my time? Can I do that? And by doing that, it leads to allowing me to keep doing it. That's it. So I've talked about this kind of thing before. I have a series on YouTube from quite a while ago that was called fall in love with the process, not the outcome. I'll put a link to that in the description way earlier videos. And you can go back and check out the first videos and just how, you know, the quality, how it evolved. And I wasn't trying to think that it needs to, you know, become amazing overnight. I'm just always trying to learn and, and improve and or just do the best I can you know, every time I show up and just keep showing up. And if we can't pull off what we're trying to do consistently, you know, even when, even when life gets crazy, you know, on just a bad day or, or the, the emotional ups and downs of life, it's important to have a placeholder version that we feel like, okay, even on the, even on the hardest day, I'm going to show up and do a placeholder, something that counts and works to keep the barrier to entry open to just to keep me going at this and not stop and pause and say, I'll get back to that later. And I need to start again. What's fun about this is I can say confidently to you, I'm here every week. If you like my videos every Tuesday, they're coming out or every week, sometimes they're a little later, but still roughly on Tuesday, but every week I'm getting a video out and it's my absolute pleasure to do so. And I wouldn't do it if it wasn't valuable for somebody out there. So thank you so much for watching. And it's been just an awesome three years getting this going from the ground up and I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to keep it coming. If you're new here, or if you don't have my chord chart yet called chords with color, definitely download that. Cause it's one of the most unique chord charts out there. I think so. If I say so myself, um, it's a very cool chord chart that is just great for chord shapes, but also many different ways that you can benefit from it and study it. And so there's a link in the top of the description to grab that totally for free. And if you get it, I'll send you a little video talking about ways to use it. Um, as well, or you can go to soundguitarlessons.com slash chords with color to get that totally for free. If you want to see another video where I'm talking about, uh, kind of inspirational, motivational stuff, which, which I kind of, there's a part of me that, that has that in me because I taught lessons for so long and, and my job was not just to teach someone how to play guitar, but really to encourage people that they can do it. You can do it. You absolutely can do it. Whatever that thing is that you want to do, you can do it. And it's not always easy and mostly not easy, but starting with being consistent with it and watching it add up over a long period of time, not a short period of time, um, is one of the most beneficial things I think to, to wrap our heads around first. So if you want to see another video where I, uh, talk about some of those inspirational things, especially about practicing. And I ride the unicycle in the video as well, because I had a unicycle in the background of my, of my whole first year of videos, there was a unicycle in the background. So people kept asking me to ride it. So I eventually did on my 100th video and, uh, just for fun, I'll put a link to that in the description, or you can click on the screen here. There should be a link to it there. If you're watching on YouTube, well, this is the part where I usually say that I post a video every week, but you know that I do. So I hope to see you next week for my next video. It's going to be about the diminished scale. So if that interests you, hope to see you there. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and happy practicing.